What's up guys, Nax Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be putting forward my thoughts and conclusions about these two great tablets. We've got the iPad 4 on the left and the Nexus 10 on the right. I've been doing versus videos and comparison videos out the ass for these two devices, you can go check them out. They include stuff like browser comparisons, gaming comparisons, and screen comparisons. Um, both are absolutely excellent and both seem to win in their own sort of categories. The iPad is fantastic when it comes to gaming. It, the Nexus 10 just literally cannot keep up with the iPad 4. So if you want a tablet for gaming, the iPad is the one for you. In terms of browsing as well, the iPad was very, very quick at browsing uh, the web and faster than the Nexus 10 by a hair, but that could be fixed by software. Um, but that one's very tight because of the even though Flash isn't officially supported by the Nexus 10 or Android Jelly Bean, you can still get it. And so the browser is pretty much a tie because both are absolutely excellent. And I actually enjoyed using the Nexus 10 more in browsing than I did on my iPad. Um, I just thought I had more freedom in the browser, more options and stuff like that. So, yeah. In terms of the screen, now this is going to come down to preference. The iPad has definitely a warmer palette tone than the uh, Nexus 10. So colors look a little bit more vivid on the uh, on the iPad, but sometimes you can get a kind of creamy yellowy tint to the uh, to the page, and whites are displayed a lot better on the Nexus 10 than they are on the iPad. Uh, that's just the way it is. In terms of the gaming, the gaming actually the screen looked great on the iPad, and the four by three aspect ratio really came into its own when gaming. I thought it was much better than the Nexus 10 16 by 10. Saying that, when looking at media consumption, watching movies, hands down, the Nexus 10 wins. The higher screen resolution and pixel density really makes movies pop. And the fact that it's 16 by 10 makes movies look fantastic. You hardly get any black bars. It pretty much fills the whole screen, which is brilliant. Whereas on the iPad 4, you get massive black bars and it can be frustrating. In terms of battery life, I've got to give it to the iPad. Um, it lasts so long. Um, I don't know specifically how many hours, but I've charged it once since pretty much having it, and it's it's been epic. The Nexus 10, however, does drain kind not really quickly. I mean, it'll last you a good three or four days, which is pretty damn useful. Um, charging, like actually charging the device is, takes ages. I don't know why. I think it's the micro USB and a hardware limitation with micro USB, it's it's very slow for some reason. That, that is annoying. Um, in terms of the screen, I am going to go ahead and give the Nexus 10 the win. It has a higher resolution and a higher pixel density. Stuff looks a little bit sharper. It pops a little bit more. And I think, you know, the whites are displayed better than the iPad 4. But it is very tight. I mean, like I said, it is going to be preference because both are very nice. And if you like a warmer palette, you will like the iPad. Now, in terms of performance, both are fantastic. The CPU in the Nexus 10 is better than the uh, CPU in the iPad. It's 1.4 gigahertz for the iPad versus a dual core 1.7 gigahertz. And it is dual core as well on the iPad. Um, Performance is very good. They're both very smooth. You can see as I go through the operating system here. It's basically is going to come down to whether you like Android or iOS. Um, I feel like Android is a real OS. I know probably some of you are going to flip out of that. It's true. There's a lot more stuff you can do. It feels like you can do a lot more different things. It's got a lot more layers. It's multitasking is better. The iPad I don't see it really as an OS. It's more of a kind of like an appliance that just works in the way that it needs to. It very much feels like you are in a box and what Apple says goes, which I don't like. It annoys me. Um, in terms of multitasking, I just think the Nexus 10 is better. You know, stuff stays in memory more because it has two gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's, it's cool, right? So say we're both in the music app. On Nexus 10, all I have to do is go ahead and hit this. And you get your multitasking menu and you can go ahead and hit up the ocean browser and your page is still in memory, which is fantastic. You, know, you can go back out and head into music. It's all very, very quick. On iOS, they're still using this very old fashioned method of a double click on the home button to get your recent apps. And you can go ahead and click to your browser. I mean, it's not that much slower, really, but I don't like this. I think they need to change it. It feels old fashioned. You know, the apps aren't really running in the background. It's not proper multitasking. 
In terms of speakers and sound, this has to be a win for the Nexus 10. It has a proper stereo with two of the speakers, as you can see here on the left and on the right, and they're both forward facing. And basically what that equals is, well, basically equals epic sound. Um, let's go ahead and, and find a song that I can play. This is off Google Play, uh, the music service, by the way. It's very, very loud. It's very clear as well. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually show you anything on the iPad because I don't have it. But I can tell you that the iPad speaker is good, but it's just not quite as good as the uh, stereo speakers here. You can see where the speaker is at the bottom here on the iPad. It's definitely not as good as the dual speakers you get over here. Let's check out the uh, rotation speed of, of both devices. I'll try and get this at the same time here. And I completely messed it up, so I'll try again. It's quicker on the iPad, but only a hair behind on the Nexus 10. That doesn't really mean much, you know. It's uh, pretty much a software thing of how fast they can rotate. I can't declare an overall winner, but my favorite is the Nexus 10. Um, I prefer the screen resolution. I think Android looks fantastic at this screen resolution and the PPI is brilliant. Um, I prefer it for web browsing because you see more, you get more options, you can have flash if you want it. If I had to pick one up and play a game on it though, it would be the iPad 4 hands down. The gaming is fantastic, you get a better variety of games, better overall in general in terms of gaming performance as well. So yeah guys, there you have it. I mean, I know I really haven't answered any questions and I'm kind of sitting on the fence between these two, but it is going to come down to if you're already on the iOS ecosystem or if you're on the Android ecosystem. Um, they're both fantastic. If you're not on either ecosystem, you've got to ask yourself what you want. Do you want something that, you know, is just easy? You turn it on, you can use the web browser, it's great for gaming. Go ahead and go for If you want something that's a bit more complicated to use in some ways, but gives you a deeper experience, then you've got to go for the Nexus 10. You've got your widgets that you can quickly get actions to over here on iOS. You've still got your boring icons. The widgets are fantastic over here. You've got loads of options, loads of different apps as well. Um, video consumption and media movies, it's got to be the Nexus 10. So yeah, guys, it is pretty much a tie and it does depend what you want. Both are fantastic. 